Get out. Okay. Now I, I picked this up for like a buck. Don't don't breathe. I know everybody's talked about it. It's Ron Fresh from Ron Tomatoes. And uh you know. I'm gonna watch this. And this is this is what I tell you. See, I'll watch this. And if it's really, really good that I really like it, I'll look for the Blu-ray and I'll get the Blu-ray. But I usually do that just to make sure I, I like the movies and stuff. But I'll check it out. I saw this too when I was young. I remember the, the VHS um, at the video store. It had like some guy on top of the girl's chest, like a little goblin or whatever. Gothic. And it's uh, Gabriel Byrne, Natasha Richardson, and Julian Sands. Julian Sands was the guy from uh, Warlock. And this is about Mary Shelley when she was with that uh, Lord Byron and all that. I, don't know. I have to rewatch it. Another cheesy movie. Probably put this with the Whaler thing. Bloodthirst, Legend of the Chupacabra. I have a couple of Chupacabra movies, so add to the collection. I never seen this, and it looks pretty interesting. It has a uh, Rip Torn. Rip Torn. I mean, he's weird, and then it's directed by Sean S. Cunningham. A stranger is watching. So I'll check it out. I mean, I've never seen it. I never heard of it, actually. Now I picked this up. Because I usually, if I see stuff like this, like A&E or uh, History Channel, I'll pick them up. But this is about a guy that's from here, from El Paso. Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker. Like a documentary of... Of him. American Justice. Night Stalker. Add to the collection. I got some Blu-rays. I got Black Swan. From that director, Darren Arlowski, yeah. And then, um, Natalie Portman. Ooh. I got The Apparition. I know this movie sucks because I've seen it. But, man. It was a, I think it was like two bucks for the Blu-ray. I got the combo pack, so I don't have it on DVD. So now I do. Add it to the horror collection. And this too, I have the DVD of this, but this is the 3D Blu-ray, the Darkest Hour. I seen parts of it, but I never watched it. But eh, you never know. I seen this. I remember the where the <laughs> where the ice cream man shows up all crazy, the demon legion. Then that that old lady. I tell you, like like creepy old ladies creep me out. It like gives me the creeps, but I like it, huh? And I got this. I seen this at the movies, but oh god, Poltergeist remake. With, uh, what's his name? He's a good actor, too, Sam Rockwell. But, oh, that was a hard watch. Then, I got the snapback of the original Poltergeist. Good disc. Just added to the collection. It's a snapback. I love this movie. That's a good movie. I saw when I was a little kid. And I got, you don't see too many movies with uh, Gina Phillips from uh, Jeepers Creepers, Tom Sizemore, Ring Around the Rosie. Check it out. Add it to the hard collection. Now, I have this like on a combo pack, but this is the, the Full Moon, the original release. So I think it was a dollar too, so I just picked it up just for, for fun. Demonic Toys. I seen this. Uh, actually, I seen this movie various times. I forget how I saw it a lot, but.
But I remember it when I was a kid and uh, the little demon, uh, the demon baby and it looks like the devil and the actress is pretty good though. Uh, I never really seen, heard of this or seen it, but it's was from uh, produced by Wes Craven, The Breed. It has Michelle Rodriguez. I never seen it. I have to check it out. All right, I picked this up just just for fun. Explorers, uh, River Phoenix. Um, the guy from Sinister, when he was a little kid. I forget his name. But yeah, I picked this up because I liked this movie when I was a kid. I, I liked it a lot. So I watched it a lot of times. But this one actually says special home video version. So when I looked it up, it says that there's a scene in here, or like a couple scenes in here that aren't on the DVD or the other releases. So, eh, I'll check it out. Ethan Hawke, that's the guy. And finally, this is pretty cool. Today I picked up, I, I stopped at the Goodwill. That's where I got that Explorers VHS. And the, those are supposed to be, what? Maybe a dollar or 50 cents, I forget. And I came along this Star Wars widescreen limited edition. And of course, these are the ones that have the, the bonus disc with the original unaltered version of the theatrical version of the movie. And they wanted six bucks for it. And I was like, fine, because I think these are like 20 bucks if you want to order it. And I don't have I don't have any of these, right? So I picked it up, and I got the Explorers, and I went to pay, and she ended up charging me three bucks. So when I looked, it's because it was half off. So I got this for three bucks, and then the Explorers for a quarter. So I think it was three uh, three twenty five. But hey, scored. Then I opened it up. Has the insert, has the movie disc, and then the the one with the bonus, uh, with the theatrical cut. Perfect condition. So that was a good score. Gonna have to get ready for uh, Star Wars season after Halloween. But uh, that's all I picked up, guys. Uh, I'm gonna start doing every. I'm gonna like do my pickups and stuff during the week and then every Saturday or Sunday I'll make the the haul video as you can see I hoarded up a lot because I was a lot of movies 